Hi guys, my name is Michael and this is a channel not just for the PS Vita fans. Welcome! Today's video is uh, dedicated again to the catching up with the PS Vita scene, its latest news and releases. First I'm checking out new exciting ports and later I'm looking into some utilities and updates. So without any further ado, let's dive right into the video. The hottest release that came out just yesterday is of course the Cuphead recreation developed by VitaDev, huge thanks to him. It is the update 1.1 and that means the third boss has been finally added to the lineup of the two previous ones and it is called Kugupi La Grande. This one is even more difficult than the other two. I couldn't really beat him as I'm not really good in these kind of games, however the gameplay is solid. Frame rate is stable and the fun is guaranteed. Therefore, if you are a fan of Cuphead or similar games, you should absolutely get it and have a blast. It is definitely worth it and it can be downloaded for free from the link on the VitaDev Twitter account that you can find in the description below and the size is about 350 megabytes. Not long after the initial release, the Vita Dev also teased another work in progress video from the upcoming Cuphead level, so you can be certain the work on this recreation never ceases and we can look forward to another update video. Once again, thanks for the hard work, it is really appreciated. Following port that has been delivered is called Galactic Missile Defense version 1.0 and it has been ported by M-K, huge thanks to him. It is an endless leaderboard based shooter and cover defense game where you must protect Earth from the invading Martians that declared war on our planet just because a space rover accidentally ruined their picnic. What a reason. Three technologically advanced bases will allow you to hold the front line and unleash destruction upon the enemy spaceships. Ask for the call now and defend Earth in this battlefield of infinite possibilities. I was pleasantly surprised by this game as I'm not really a fan of these kind of shooters. However, this one is pretty enjoyable and it kept me playing for much longer than initially anticipated. The game can be controlled by touch inputs only. Well anyway, it wouldn't be really intuitive to control it by physical controls, so it feels natural to use your fingers to obliterate every little Martian inside. Uh, frame rate is stable. This game contains in-app purchases that are not available on PS Vita. Thus you get 10,000 credits at start to buy upgrades and uh, stuff like that. Difficulty has been also adjusted to the PS Vita needs. I especially enjoyed all the different power-ups and upgrades. There are also different, stronger types of enemies that take longer to destroy. Overall, I consider the Galactic Missile Defense as a solid port and I'm recommending it to all of you who are intrigued by its look and feel. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. To make it run on your Vita, however, you need to obtain the Steam game files and perform the patch first then install the VPK and then you are good to go. You can find the release page with instructions down below or if you would prefer the old school piracy way, the Google search engine with its great algorithm is always happy to help, so feel free to use its service. Size is about 100 megabytes.
Next, this time original homebrew game is called Z, developed by THP, and it is a multi-platform arcade game, available for Vita, 3DS, Windows, etc. Control the white rectangle with up and down buttons, stay on, stay on lanes, avoid the gaps, survive the longest and retain health points for high score. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? But it is everything but simple. The gaps keep changing, the speed keep increasing and decreasing, and you gotta put your mind into special kind of consciousness to beat odds and get the best score. It is everything but simple, and if you like to challenge yourself, surely don't skip this unique homebrew game and give it a try. It can be downloaded for free from same old places and size is about 6 megabytes. Another port that has silently dropped onto the PS Vita platform has got the title of RT Dink, and it is a port of Dink Smallwood HD for PS Vita. It was ported by Napsia, thanks for all the hard work. The game centers on Dink, a pig farmer turned hero who embarks on various quests throughout his world. The game features isometric Diablo-like gameplay, including weapons, items and magic. The game is also available for Android, iOS, Windows, Linux and even PSP, surprisingly. I haven't played it before, but I have to say I'm naturally drawn to this game and it does appeal to me significantly, not just because of the Diablo-like gameplay, but also because, frankly, it seems like a proper fun title. The frame rate is more or less stable, it was just released, so expect occasional stutters or crashes. Nonetheless, it is perfectly playable, and all the fans of Retro Gems should absolutely give it a go if you haven't already. Again, there are some steps to perform in order to make it run on the PS Vita. You can find the guide down below, or as usually, the complete package is out there. Don't hesitate to browse through Reddit, Discord, etc., and the size is about 80 megabytes. Now to the utilities, the Better Homebrew Browser developed by M. Ibrahim has been updated to the version 0.4 beta, a lot of crashes has been fixed, numerous bugs and memory leaks fixed, there has been also added few more things in settings page. It is shaping up to be a truly exceptional Homebrew Browser, and I'm glad we finally have at least two options for this ultimate tool with limitless possibilities. Well done guys, keep the updates coming. Final utility that has been dropped recently is called Crystal PSM, developed by Eli Crystal and it is one-click installer that downloads and installs PlayStation Mobile runtime package that is necessary for all the PS Vita ports as well as the PlayStation Mobile games. It aims to be legal, fast and sports a modern and sleek interface. There are already many ways how to install PlayStation Mobile runtime package, however this one seems to be the easiest way so far of how to achieve it. You just install the VPK, open it and it will do the rest for you. So if you haven't installed your PlayStation Mobile package, go and get it now, it has never been easier. 
So what do you think about the new ports and homebrews guys? Which one are you getting? Or are you getting them all? Let me know down below. We are coming to the part of the video where I tell you if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and share it with other PS Vita enthusiasts. It means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out our Discord server and follow me on social media. You can now also support the channel. All the links are down below. Sub to the channel means you most likely won't miss upcoming content. There is at least one video coming out every week. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.